Hello and welcome back. This is tutorial number six, modeling a Pantera in Blender. If you've been following along with me on this tutorial, you'll know that basically we've gotten to this point where we have this side of the car pretty much roughed in and modeled. From here on out, it's going to get pretty fast paced, and I'm going to be showing you a lot of the really interesting tricks that are, are going to help you cut a lot of corners, for example, the mirroring modifier. And uh, I've actually, I'll make a confession here, I've, I've worked ahead on this car. I had to delete some stuff to go back because I didn't save it uh, along the way. And I've done a couple of things. If you will direct your attention down here to the fender, I've made a few knife cuts to add a few vertices, and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, a little bit later. <clears throat> well, actually I could probably should show you how to do it right now. Uh, first off, to make a knife cut, you have to select lines or polygons. I'm going to select lines, and I'm just going to cut this one right here. First select this, select this, and select this. Now, when you are cutting adjoining polygons, you can't just make a cut here to here because you have to deal with this polygon here and the geometry, the way it works. You've got a point right here with, you know, basically nothing to go on this polygon. It won't allow you to do it. So, what you're going to do is hit the K on your keyboard, knife exact. Then you can just strike a line from here to here and down to here, then hit enter, and you can see and you, when you switch back to points, you've created a whole new set of vertices here. Anytime you need to create a set of additional vertices, you can do this. Remember those steps. We need to start modeling the roof now, and we're going to do that. <coughs> so, I've already created an extra vertice here, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to select these multiple vertices here. We're still in point mode. Okay, we're going to extrude. Get our question mark only edges. So here we go. I'm just going to extrude this up to here. I'm going to start using the knife tool a little bit now. I'm going to first select. Oh, and also hitting the tab key here. As you can see, I put a little texture on it. We've got a little problem here. I'm going to show you how to deal with stuff like this a little later on. But for all practical purposes at this point, as you can see, the car is starting to look pretty good. Uh, it's near the end of this tutorial when I had the mirror modifier. It's really going to you know, come together. That's one thing about modeling. It can get discouraging after a while. You're thinking, oh, my car just looks like crap. You know, I just It's not looking right. I don't think it's ever going to look right. Then all of a sudden, you uh, you make a few moves, you move a few vertices, do something, and bang, it just looks great. And uh, we're going to be getting into a lot of that. Oops, I have to select something first. So, okay, yes, all right. Okay, I've got the lines on it. Get rid of this stupid cursor that I never use. Okay, I'm going to select these two. Hit K knife exact and I'm just gonna start striking a line here across to, to do basically to create some vertices they don't have to be parallel or anything like that you can move them around so Okay, some more there, and okay, now if we switch back to points, we can see all of these vertices here. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Starting by selecting this, 
I'm not constraining it to a particular axis because again we're working in the side here we really don't need it I'm just going to oops here move these in to where they can form like so by hitting the G key we went over that already in other lessons now as I said before this method of modeling is one of the many I've used polygon reduction modeling of course is another one good one spline modeling I don't know if this really has a name. I haven't really heard anything uh, about it. I call it sheathing. So, because you're kind of putting a sheath of metal on the car. Now, we're going to cut out from this view largely. And we're going to go up here and look at it. Okay, as you can see, we're out there a ways. We're going to have to move these in. And. Hmm. Okay. Alright. I'm going to move this one back here because it sort of touches that right there. Of course, the other one needs to be moved back here. Like that. Perfect. Alright. Now I'm going to move this one here, up, and I'm just going to keep going on down the line, moving them in, like so, in this view. We're going to run into some interesting problems here in a little bit. And that's good, because too many modeling videos out there that I've seen kind of try to ignore the problems a lot of the time that you run into when you're doing digital modeling. And that's not good, because you're presented with a host of problems all over the place most of the time, and a lot of times you don't know how to handle them. Oh man, what do I do? And then you go looking online, wasting all kinds of time. There are a lot of problems with this model and other ones. There's another one there I gotta get. Put that in there we go. Okay. That's what we need right there. Okay. Back to the front. Alright. We're gonna do the same thing here. Now, I've got some points here that uh, were existed before. I'm just going to delete those, ignore this part. They're pre existing points. Oops. Wrong one. Okay. Get that other verse. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. All right, this is of course is the door, and it does not connect to this. So I'm going to extrude this on the edges and bring this up here. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did before. First, select the edges. Okay. Now we're going to do some knife cuts. Don't worry about making too many or too little if they're unevenly spaced. We can always go back and adjust them. Right now we're just we're roughing the car in 
and it does look very rough. Doesn't look like a car that you probably want to buy out on the lot, but that's going to change abruptly when you see what happens. All of a sudden, the car just starts looking cool. And then we start the real tedious process, fine tuning. As you can see, I'm just moving these into position. Also, in the next tutorial, I'm going to confront this little gem of a blueprint that's really off up here. I'm going to show you how to best adjust it. I have been ignoring this blueprint for quite some time because while it kind of conforms to the car, it's not perfect. There, there's some errors in it. I, I know what these errors are. I'm not going to go into detail as to what they are. Uh, it would be a waste of your time. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to fit this thing in as good as we can. And uh, then we're going to continue modeling from that. But as I said earlier on in the tutorials, we're going to start modeling from pictures quite a bit. So. Let me get those two keys mixed up. All right, so once we get have this basically roughed in to where we want it, uh, I'm going to make another knife cut here. Let's see. I'm going to have to go back here. Grab this one, two, no, one and two. Knife cut exact. All right. Okay, now I'm going to grab that and pull it up here. This one, I get pulled down here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it down there. Pull that there. finished with this. Okay, now we need to swing back over here at the top. And I'm going to zoom in. Oops, okay. Not exactly the place I want to zoom in. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to start selecting some points here and bringing them in. Just as best as we can. Oh, I hate that cursor. I don't even know, really, to be honest with you, I've never ever used this thing. I don't really know what it's for. I'm sure it has a purpose, but anyway, just kind of a pain in the butt. So bringing these things over one by one. Two by two, actually. Now one of, one of the things that really kind of turns perspective modelers that, that get into Blender or 3D Max or True Space or some other program is the fact that you run into a lot of troubles, things that generally tutorial makers kind of shy away from or don't really explain very well. And uh, I've tried to leave a lot of mistakes. Uh, who am I kidding? I always have a lot of mistakes. <laughs> in my uh, efforts like this. Did I just drag something I shouldn't have? Hold on. Nope. Right where it should be. Okay. Drag that over there. Okay. That's where it should be. And let's move this over here. Alright. And we've got one more, let's see. Okay, that's looking all right. And of course, let's move our, there we go. We can go back and adjust all these things later on. Like I said, this is rough in, rough in. It is not the finished product, not intended to be. Finished product's gonna look totally cool. But if we switch, there we go. 